new set of handlebars in the mail yesterday. Uh, we ordered a micro handlebar kit by Pro Taper. A couple reasons why I did this. Uh, one was the throttle tube. That's kind of how I discovered this kit. Uh, Colton, uh, the factory throttle tube that came on his bike, he ended up cracking it. Uh, dirt got in between the throttle tube and the handlebar and ended up uh, sticking. Open this up and show you. What's nice about this one is it's all aluminum and on the end it's closed. So there'll be no way for any dirt or rocks when he falls, if he breaks the grip, for that dirt or rocks to get in between uh, you know, the throttle tube and the handlebar. So I like that. The other reason, which I discovered once I found the kit, is that the normal bars on a KTM 50 are 7 8 bars. So they are the same size grip as mine, yet his hands are a lot smaller. Hey, hold your hand up. <laughs> so his little hands have to hold on to the same size grip I do on the bike currently he has. Here, let me see you. Here, hold on to the grip. So these actually get slimmer. They start out as a 7 8 and then when they get to the end where the grips are, I'll show you here, they start to slim down. So he'll be able to hold on to it too, a little better. Here is the grip and you can already kind of see how much smaller it'll be. Very similar to what is on, I've got a set of like mini ODI grips on the PW50. Yeah. So he'll be able to hold on to it to a little better. I'm excited to see what he thinks of it. He probably won't even notice it, but uh, I think it's going to be the best option for him. Yeah. So you guys going to help me put these handlebars on? Yes. You're going to help me? All right, let's do it. Peyton's gonna start taking off the current grips that are on the bike. They are the ODI lock-on V2s. I ended up going with these grips uh, after he broke um, the throttle tube and split the grip open on the factory grips. These actually have a plastic throttle tube inside the grip already when you buy them. So I thought at the time that was gonna be the best option. They're still in decent condition. He has split the end here a little bit, but I think I'm gonna keep him for my bike in the future. So, how you doing there, Pay? You need some help? Yep. Yeah. All right, there we go. He's gonna remove the kill switch, and I am just gonna cut this zip tie real quick, the bars. I want the L one. Can you help you? Mm -hmm. right. yeah. So you have to push in, and you spin. Right. Here, you wanna do it? Yeah. All right, keep going. The next thing we're gonna do is peel back this rubber boot that goes over the, the throttle here. Pull this down. And then you'll be able to expose uh, these two Phillips head screws and then we'll loosen it up. All right. Next, you're gonna wanna remove the two screws on the bottom of the throttle. Now, we should be able to get the throttle tube and grip off. There we go. I'm gonna take this little boot here and slide it all the way around. I realized when I loosened this up, there's not enough cable here to slide uh, the brake off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a Torx bit and loosen up this front number plate and that should allow for enough room to get it off. If you're familiar with KTM, they like to use a lot of Torx bits. And that's what they used here for these handlebar clamps. So that, got them off. Here is a comparison of the two bars. Uh, you can see they're the exact same bend. Uh, this is, if you can see down there, it's the KTM 50 micro bar. So it should be the exact same bend as the bar that came off the bike. And you can see the 7 8 bar, how it goes up and then tapers down. Here's a better look at the two grips. 
Looks like it's a, it's a little bit shorter, uh, but it's also a lot thinner. I think that'll help him hold on. Lost my helper. <laughs> you done helping me? Good. So now I've got the bars, the clamps are just finger tight, and before I get ready to torque it down, I'm gonna look just to make sure one last time that they are centered. You know, kind of lean over the bike or if you want to sit on it, you know, it feels like it's a good angle. Uh, the logo here is in the center. Uh, same with that text up top. Uh, go to the front. It all looks good. So now I looked in the manual and these screws, the torque you want to put it to is 20 Newton mirrors. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Now that the handlebars are mounted, I'm going to go ahead and slide back on the brake clamp here. I've already slid on the brake. I've already slid on the uh, boot for the throttle. And what I'm gonna do now is install this little snap ring, if you can see it. There's a groove here that you're supposed to slide this onto, and I guess it keeps the throttle assembly from sliding off. It's like a safety feature. Uh, this was not on the factory bars, and to be honest, I've never seen it on any other set of bars in my life. But uh, we'll slide it on and you know see how it works. So I need to pick out the throttle cam that we're gonna use here. They're all different. Some are labeled for KTM, some are Yamaha, Kawasaki, Suzuki. There are two that are labeled KTM 50. Uh, it's this number four, and I believe this says number five on it. So I'm gonna go with the one that says number five, and the reason being is it looks the most like the one I pulled off the bike. It's about the same size, you can see there. So this will end up being the one I use. Just gonna start to reassemble everything in the reverse order that we took it off. Uh, the only thing that was abnormal uh, compared to the factory bars was just this snap ring. So I'm just gonna do everything in the reverse order and work through this. on our little private track out here. Got Colton's bike with the new bars on it. We threw on some numbers. There's some homemade numbers my wife made for them. Turned out really good for homemade. Colton, you about ready? Yeah, I said numbers. You, uh, you think those new bars are gonna be nicer? Yeah. You think so? Mine's two times. All right, we'll do some races, you and me. Who do you think's gonna win? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, that's gonna wrap up the video. 
I'm really happy with the bars. Uh, I think they're, they're great quality, great construction. Uh, I love the fact that it's a, a smaller grip size for them. I think it'll be able to hold on better. Uh, also the aluminum uh, throttle tube with the closed end on it. I think it's gonna be great. He crashes a lot sometimes in turns and uh, you know just seems prone to always you know breaking that throttle tube or you know uh, ripping the grip. So uh, I think long run that was a great choice. So uh, thank you all for the uh, subscribing to the channel. I think this week we're about to hit 3,000 subscribers. So I think since the last one that I posted, I think I had 1,000 subscribers and that was only about a week and a half ago. So we're doing good. So thanks everybody and have a good one. Mm -hmm.